Hey guys, I got a special video for you today. I'm going to be driving a train. Kind of. I'll explain in a second. Stay tuned. So a long time ago, back in 2006, my grandfather bought a diesel from a Shriners Club up in Waycross, Georgia. Now this diesel was special because the shell of the diesel had been taken off the locomotive and had been placed on an old Chevy pickup truck chassis. So you could drive it around just like a truck, but it looked exactly like a diesel locomotive. And they painted it up in a custom paint job for the Shriners Club, but my grandfather bought it and he brought it back home. So, you know, young me, I was super excited when I saw this thing pull into the driveway at his house. And it took a very long time to get running. He even had to go and buy a school bus just for the chassis to get it running. And he asked me to help him pick a paint job for it. So what did I do? I pulled out my Lionel catalogs and helped him go through it. And he ended up going with Santa Fe. He ended up choosing the number 6106, which signifies the day he bought it, June 1st, 2006, and that's the number it's had ever since then. So I think of how I'll handle this is, I'll get in the train, drive it, see if I can get some video of me running it, and then once I get it back to my house, I'll take some better pictures and videos of it. So I'm driving it now, and as I kind of said earlier, this is a actually a school bus, so I'm driving it over my house to my grandparents' house, and it drives exactly like you think it would. It's just basically a school bus. So if I turn the camera around here in a few seconds, I'll, uh... So yeah, I mean, I'm basically driving it like a big old truck, and it's a lot of fun to drive, and it's really a kind of a one-of-a-kind one of kind experience, and I'll blow the horn here in a second. So in these shots, I kind of just give a generic overview of the outside of the engine. If y'all want me to do a more in-depth video on like the history of the actual train itself and or how it was built and things like that, I can do that. My grandfather kept a scrapbook of the development of this particular engine. Not the engine when it was still a locomotive, but the process of getting it from Waycross to here and then building it up to where it is now. And as we'll see here in a second, whenever we get inside, the this is a functional vehicle. And as we go up the steps here and walk across into the cab, you'll see the steering wheel, you'll see some of the lighting controls, and I'll get close to that here in a second. But there's a family line seat because this was a family lines locomotive whenever it ran. We used that area for storage for like parades and things like that when we put it in parades. There's steering wheel and here are the, some of the controls for the locomotive. So most of them are lights, some of them are for decorative. But that silver button right there is the button for the horn. But they have lights, knobs and things like that. But yeah, if we want to do a more in-depth video, I can do that. Just let me know in the comments if y'all want that. One more look around here from the windows. So that's going to do it for today's video. I'm glad that I finally had a chance to show off the train to you guys and I had a blast riding it.
Once again, I want to thank all my subscribers. Your support means the world and it makes me want to keep making great videos for you guys. Thanks for stopping by the SEL guys. See you next time.